We, we're, we're so excited to welcome people out to the Kohala Aina Festival, a makihiki celebration and gathering on the land to, re to really honor the Hawaiian tradition of makihiki season, to gather, to celebrate, to dance, to feast, to uh, strengthen communal bonds. So we're so excited to gather here today in Kohala and just be, uh, we are so blessed with this beautiful weather. Um, and it's just a, an amazing celebration. We have a great lineup of musicians this evening. Um, you know, we, we have great musicians from all over the world that are, are playing this event and have come out to support and contributing their time uh, to this cause, which Kohala Aina Festival is a benefit show uh, to raise money to directly support agriculture education in Hawaii. So the Hawaii Institute of Pacific Agriculture is a nonprofit located up here in Kapa'au that offers a variety of educational programs. We do residential farmer training programs for young adults. We host youth programs including field trips, campouts, day-long excursions. Over the last four and a half years that uh, the that hip agriculture has uh, been ex in existence, we've brought out uh, over 800 youth to our Aina. We've brought out over eight, um, we've brought out almost 800 youth to our Aina, to our farm. Kids come out, we give them a farm tour, they go through a variety of hands-on uh, workshops, they get to taste produce from the land. We really want to inspire the next generation of Aloha Aina uh, leaders, you know, farmers, gardeners. Uh, we want the youth to start eating a healthier diet and, and we know that that happens when they get in the garden and they actually get to, to taste the food, they get to taste the fruits, the coconuts that we crack for them, the sugar cane that we prepare. So, so this whole festival is really geared towards raising money to support an agriculture institute in Hawaii, an independent agriculture institute, an in institute that is not taking money from large multinational corporations. Because unfortunately, much of our academic system is, is taking money from you know, large corporations. So we're an independent agriculture institute, and our mission is really restoration of human health and environmental health. And we do that through our core programs, through farmer training, through youth education, and uh, through the annual Kohala Aina Festival. And your ears, and your hands, and your movement. It's Nako, and um, it is the shoes. I don't know what year this is for them. Maybe the sixth, the sixth, sixth annual uh, Kohala Aina Festival. Makahiki season, the time of Lono, and uh, wow, we are so blessed. It's such a beautiful day uh, to come together here um, and share uh, f uh, food and, and music and uh, family. Uh, and a special time for, I feel like a lot of people on this island, um, although I believe that people come from uh, all islands to come celebrate here with this Ohana. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a good work that the people at HIP Agriculture, the Hawaii, Hawaii Institute of Pacific Agriculture are doing here um, on this land and I'm so honored and grateful to be a part of it. I feel very blessed to be here on the Big Island. Um, I won't lie, the Big Island is my favorite island of all the islands and I always love when we get the chance to come out here and celebrate with the people here. Uh, this event is really special. Um, just the, all the people here, all the family here, all the musicians here, Nako, Medicine for the People, Tabi Love, Chris Berry, Havane, um, you know, just a lot of really great conscious music, people thinking forward, uh, uplifting the people. It's just really an honor to be performing among such, such great musicians who I think are really the, the premier musicians of our time and, and uh, speaking the message that needs to be heard. I go back and forth every single day The family you come here with the choppy ways The feelings that made to the season change The galaxies remain It is your fear upon the mind in this space The yellow that I come within the very much your waist The case that keep it in from my very much your face Then roll the mana when the banners are in place And pull their alignment Aloha Aina Kako, my name is Havane Rios and I am from Pukapu Aimea, the Mauna, Mauna Awakea is my mountain and Kwakohau is my river and I'm just here enjoying the Kohala Aina Festival. It's such a pleasure and an honor to be here and to be able to sing today. I'm enjoying all of the music and all of the great company. It's beautiful to have my brother Nako here and to be able to sing with him 
and all of the good food and all of the positive energy. It's just beauty abound. Aloha mai no kako o wao Joshua ala na kilo kai na ika pono mengo. Aye no wao iko hala maka aloha ai ko hala ai na festival. So it's a great honor to be able to be part of this festival. It's for a great cause for hip agriculture. They're trying to move forward in their agricultural programs and community here. It's such an important thing to have at this time. Uh, just uh, simultaneously as Kanaka Maoli, we are reviving our traditions too. I carry with me a lono that we have brought forward to help continue our traditions and revive traditions of Makahiki. Um, and so coinciding with this effort and uh, really being embraced by the people of this community, this agricultural community, the, the, the traditions, our Hawaiian traditions and understanding of lono um, and the, the celebration, the fertility of the land, the healing of the land and the healing of the people and so this I really like, admire this concert for being quite well rounded um, you know they they talk about health for the Aina and health for the people so they feed the people good food here you know there's, there's pretty much everything here is either locally grown um, organic um, or vegan or stuff like that but um, pretty much everything here was put together by the people it's not corp there's no corporate here um, it really is it's setting a precedence, I think, for what can be done by the people, by what we already have. Um, so really, I admire this 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 festival um, and and their and its creators for really trying to really walk the talk of the message that they are putting out there. This is my fourth time returning here. Uh, um, the work they're doing with teaching our young people about uh, uh, food sovereignty is unprecedented and uh, it's hard to come by these kinds of people. Um, I travel the world and, and, uh, and, and deliver music and message to uh, people around the world and so part of that is to teach people to take care of themselves which um, in turn sort of reflects exactly what's happening here which is building community and also uh, uh, taking care of our, of our Aina. Um, whatever rock you're on. So uh, Dash and Eric have, have been an inspiration for me for many years and uh, I'm continually like grateful for their support of our music and our medicine to combine the work that we're doing to uh, create events like this and to have such amazing experiences for all of us. It's, it's very important, especially at this time, at any time, but it, we're, we're very grateful to be here and uh, share this this time I'm lucky. I'm just so grateful to be uh, surrounded by so many good teachers, you know, so many people who are who are putting their hands in the land and doing the hard work, you know, and uh, growing food, the organic farm movement, you know, to be connected to that and to be uh, included in that, you know, is, is so awesome because it takes all of us together pushing each other to show up and to serve, to serve the mother, you know. It feels good to be a part of such a great movement and, uh, you know, to see all these beautiful people coming out and connecting and uh, coming together as a community and uh, yeah, just having a good time, man, and, and, and sharing their love, you know, and that's what it's all about, is just sharing love, I think, you know. There's, not, there's, so, much, there's so much negativity in the world with uh, all, all the stuff that's going on, but as long as we, we hold our heart, love in our hearts and and and, uh, and keep that that love strong. Then you know, like uh, I think everything will be okay, right?
inspired by all of the farmers out here that are that are really passionate about that movement and it's really good to be here celebrating that and also uh, doing something to help continue and perpetuate that that movement. So I encourage people from all over the state, uh, people from all over Hawaii. We have people come up from every single district on Hawaii Island. You know, tonight we have a Kau in representation. We have Hilo, we have Puna, we have Hamakua Coast, we have Kohala, we have Kona, Waimea, um, and we have people out from Maui, from Kauai, from Oahu. This is really an opportunity for those of us in the food movement to, to gather, to celebrate what we're creating together. A healthy Hawaii, you know, healthy keiki, uh, and sustainability on the island chain and also fortify you know, and, and strengthen our solidarity uh, for building this movement, which it now is a global movement of people rising up to defend the earth uh, from corporations that are exploiting it. And so we're really dedicated to that cause. Uh, we wanna just keep rallying Aloha Aina warriors to celebrate with us and to build this movement. So I really honor this, uh, all the people, the organizers of this festival for really sticking and standing by what they believe and the message that they are putting forward. Um, it's a, I think it's a beautiful thing for, for all people. Um, and I encourage everyone to come participate in more of these kind of things in the future and encourage this kind of, of, of concerts and gatherings around Hawaii, all over the place. Let everyone, let's grow our own food, let's feed our people good food, let's, let's offer educational opportunities at events like this so that everyone can enjoy and everyone can learn together. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked to be part of this. This is an awesome thing. So, hi, aloha.